So one of the things that I have set also is PDF. So if you've ever been to a website where they have a free download for a PDF, you just kind of lose track of them. This is great. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about one of my most used databases. If you watch my YouTube channel, you'll see that I actually do only use a couple of databases and then I use linked databases to filter them further. So today I'm going to be showing you guys one called the brain. Now in my last video, I got a couple comments asking about how do I track things like food or how do I track things like books I read or how do I track things like PDFs and documents. Now this board specifically covers things that I consume. So whether that's YouTube channels, podcast episodes, movies, TV shows, books, which is a big one. Though that's in this one called the brain. I did not come up with this. I actually got this from notionthings.com. It's part of a larger template that I actually don't really use, but I really like this brain database. When it comes to food and all the stuff in my house for my pantry, that's a separate database I use because it's kind of specific. I also have a few other databases that I plan on making videos on, including my knowledge base and knowledge vault, project database, my action items, and my clients. I have done videos already on my content creation. I just did one recently, but the brain is one of my biggest besides my product assets, which I just did a video on. The brain is really focused on content and specifically content I consume. So there's the content creation one where it's things I'm making, but this one is really how I'm feeding my brain, which is why it's called the brain. So let's just get into it. Um, this is a free template I got from Notion Things. I will link it below. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. I will be covering all of my databases eventually. So make sure to subscribe so you get updated and turn on the notification bell. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the brain. So basically what this does is it has everything on here, right? Apps, it has, websites, it has TV shows, movies, everything that I currently use. So I kind of wanted to show with you how I use it. So it comes with all of these types already over here. You'll see there's like a ton of them. I don't use even all of them. Um, some of the things I've added were the year that it was published and I used um, actually the select option. Uh, this is helpful for in my movies one, which I'll show you in a second right here. I can see what year the movie was published. And also, for example, I can I added things like the media platform or channel that it's on, what type it is, so it's movie, the status, if it's done or not, the tags, category, etc. You know, I don't have everything, but this has been really helpful for me to track the movies that I want to watch. So for example, if I wanted to sort this, I can add the status first, and you'll see that I have my to watch list. So I could even filter that further. Right now it's the type is movie, but I could even filter it to see what movies I wanna watch. So basically, let me go through some of the ones that I have used with this. So basically I have sorted things by type and added things to different lists. And then I filtered each of those with different views. So for each view, I actually picked both. A... So for this, I actually use the table view and usually a board view. So for movies, you'll see this is the list view or the, sorry, the table view, but I also do it as a board view. And you can sort it by where it's located. I've also grouped by year released. So you're published, so I can see how many you know movies were released in what year. I haven't gotten to the point where I've added images for each of these. I just feel like there's so many movies. Eventually at some point I will add those, but it's been really helpful. So if I click into, oh, I spelled Pinocchio wrong. I think it's spelled like, Pinocchio, I don't know how to spell it. Anyways, so you can see I have like a ton of different things in here and some of these, again, I don't fill out. So let's just go to like the Wizard of Oz. So you'll see, I actually have this on DVD, so I added that as a media platform, but also HBO Max. The status is I've watched or done, I've watched it. It's a movie, the year, what the action is to do, and then the category, I put it as musical, because I mean, there's a lot of songs in there. So. A lot of these have to do with uh, books. So I'll go to that one next. So one of the things that I like to have is books. So this I have actually started adding images to. So what's cool is I have set this one up as settings. So right now, these are the current books I'm reading. These are the ones I finished, so done. The ones I paused or I started reading and haven't. The, the next and then later. And then I also have, if you scroll all the way over, actually I'm gonna show you where it hides the empty ones. 
Uh, there should be, yeah, to read. What I did with this, which I think is actually really interesting, is I actually exported some of my Goodreads. So if you've ever been on Goodreads.com, you can actually export all of your books. And what happened was, is I have so many books on Goodreads that it couldn't even, like I couldn't even put all of them in here. So I'm probably eventually gonna keep adding more. I have like 2000 books on my to read list. So it's, it's crazy. But I really put the ones that it just kind of downloaded into a CSV file. So you could import that. I imported it into like an empty one and then just I just kind of copied it over to the brain. So that was interesting for me to just see, okay, these are all the books I'm reading. You can also add things like, do I own this book? So you can see, I think I have that as an option. So one of the things that you can add if you go into properties is the media platform. So one of the things that I did was I added things like Kindle or a library or physical book. And that way I know where it's located. So that's how I organize books. Um, I really love reading books. And so that's something that I also do. Some other things I organize, one of my biggest ones is PDFs. So one of the things that I have set also is PDFs. So if you've ever been to a website where they have a free download for a PDF, you just kind of lose track of them. This is great because what I do is for each of them, let me find a good one. So like for traction, what I did was I set it as a PDF. I put the categories business advice and then I just uploaded the PDF here. And so if I go back to my, let's see, if I go back to my command center. So if I go to my knowledge vault, which is something I also use, I can actually go into this and then see actually now I have linked to the PDF. So if I wanted to look up how not to stalk your prospects, this was a PDF I downloaded. It's literally also in the knowledge vault, organized by category, but also it just links to the PDF. So the PDF is not stored in the knowledge vault. It is stored in the brain. So I love this. I can organize by category and then link it back to the knowledge vault as well with a relational database. I also, you know, track the podcasts I listen to. So I've got different episodes, different topics, you know, if I'm ever like, what podcast should I listen to today? I do this with TikTok accounts, which I mean, I literally just kind of started doing this. It's something I need to organize. I follow so many. TV shows, this is a big one. So I organize TV shows by, uh, you know, again, the same groupings. I also can do it by status. So if I wanted to group by, let's see, status, I could see which ones I've watched. Some of these are, you know, done, watching, current, paused etc. Let me see apps. These are apps that I have or have used, um, things that I enjoy doing. Let's see. YouTube channels. This is a big one. So I've organized this one by, let's see. Yeah, this is organized by category. So I have a bunch of different YouTube channels that I enjoy watching. And yeah, that's just something that I really enjoy looking at. I recently added CDs as an option because I wanted to track the CDs I own, which I don't even know how many I have anymore. So that was kind of a funny one. And email lists I'm subscribed to. So these are just ones that I just had on another Airtable board and I need to update because I wanted to see, okay, how many email lists am I on? Uh, which ones do I actually want to keep being subscribed to? I also have one for games. So this is great if I have games and I'm like, oh, what's a good game to play? Um, I have these physically in my house or my friends have them. So that's really how I use the brain. It's a really great database that I got again from notionthings.com and it's really helpful for organizing again, more of like the things I consume, the things that I use on a weekly or daily or monthly basis. So let me know what you think of the brain. I have the link down below for this database and I think it's really helpful. I spend a ton of time going through things like my movies and my TV shows, trying to remember all the ones I've seen. Um, so if I'm ever like, oh, I need a movie tonight, this is it. So hope this was helpful and talk to you guys next week.